All right, so in this problem, we're asked to add three fractions together. Now, as you can tell, the first fraction is actually a mixed number. We have one and one fourth. I think the easiest way to solve this would just be to separate the one and one fourth. We have one plus one fourth, which is the same as saying one and one fourth. And then we'll add our seven over four. And then we're getting to another little problem where we have eight as the denominator and we want it to match the same as all the other fractions. So we'll take six over eight and we want it to have the same denominator as four. Now we know that the least common multiple, okay, would be four, right? So to get from eight to four, we'll divide by two. And just like we did with multiplication, if we multiplied the denominator by two, then we'll have to multiply by two. But in this case, we're dividing. So we'll divide six by two to get three. Meaning that six over eight is exactly equal to three over four. Now we'll take three over four, we'll put it into our problem and we will add. Now we have our whole number of one plus our three fractions with the same common denominator of four. And now all we have to do is add all of our numerators, one plus seven plus three, giving us 11 over four. Now we wanna take this 11 over four and turn it from a mixed, from an improper fraction to a mixed number. We'll do this by dividing 11 divided by four. And we'll say, how many times does four go into 11? Twice. With how many left over? Three. And our common denominator of four. Now we're basically just adding one plus two and three fourths, giving us, we'll add our two whole numbers first, three and three fourths. So three and three fourths is our final answer.